What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Last night I tweeted I sleep. What recent news, topics, tweets, videos you want me to talk about tomorrow? Up and coming popular actor Jonathan Mayers almost gets his entire career ruined in 30 seconds or less. Apparently there's more drama in the YouTube boxing universe surrounding Creator Clash 2 and some guy named Froggy Fresh. Apparently Kanye West is no longer anti-Semitic after watching 21 Jump Street. For all my Wii fans out there, we've got a lot of anime announcements that I'll summarize in 30 seconds or less. And apparently Aiden Ross is now suffering the consequences from his own actions. All of that and more. So yeah, guys, again, if you guys have been watching my videos, maybe watching on the recommended and you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be super cool if you did that for me. Uh, otherwise, you guys know the drill. Sit back, relax, put your feet up, and yeah, allow me to lay it on you. So ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking freaking news, okay? Chris Chan is out of prison. That's right, I will say it again. Chris Chan is out of prison. Now, if you don't know who Chris Chan is, God bless your living soul. I won't go into the super details. All you really need to know is this man is the villain of all villains, okay? He makes EDP-445 look like Barney. And EDP-445 is a terrible dude, okay? This tweet here from Gino said, I was not ready for the news and it shows Christine Weston Chandler. I forgot that she, Chris Chan, identifies as she. Custody record, Age 41 says the gender is male. They don't care about how they identify as themselves. Race, white, VA, Central Virginia, Regional Jail. Virginia? Wait, I'm I'm like, right. This man's loose out from my streets. I'm right here in the DMV. Oh my God. Oh my. Custody status out of custody. Custody detail bonded out. Due to the current status, updates on this record are no longer available. If you have any questions, please contact the facility. Who? Who did it? I know you're watching this video right now. Who released Chris Chan from prison? Okay, that's that's wild. Somebody had to pay to get this person out of jail for, I mean, I, I guess I gotta tell you, I'll, I'll give you like the TLDR like baby version of it. Chris Chan, AKA Sonny Chu, was arrested back in August 1, 2021, when rumors came about that they had an actual incestualized, non-consenting relationship with their own mother. I told you, it's bad. Chris Chan is out in the wild and everybody on the internet is losing their shit because, I mean, who released this person? This person should be <laughs> not out roaming free because I don't know what they're capable of, especially not in my streets, but damn. But anyway, guys, that's Chris Chan being released from jail. The internet's panicking, okay? Everyone's trying to wonder who released the, the evil. <laughs> <laughs> who who released the seal? Okay, I think there's going to be a trial for Chris uh, sometime this summer or whatever, but I, th there might even be a chance that Chris makes a public appearance on the internet or talks about where they have been or the situation. I don't know. It's one of those Pandora's boxes where you just don't want to let loose, okay? You don't want to talk. We don't talk about Chris Chan, okay? Just like we don't talk about Bruno, we don't talk about Chris Chan, but unfortunately we have to. So I'll let you guys know if there's any updates on their appearance flying around, but hey, be on the lookout because because, woo. So this one's really weird, but we'll just get it out the way, okay? <laughs> a lot of you guys actually just addressed this really fast, but apparently Aiden Ross was tricked by his viewers to look at his naked sister. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing. For those of you guys who don't know, Aiden Ross is a streamer who streams on Kick, the Twitch competitor or whatever, and he's infamous for basically doing a lot of terrible stuff on the stream, but it looks like he got reverse Unoed on his own stream by his own fans. I'm not even joking, bro. That shit is too far, bro. All shit aside, that shit is way too far, bro. Y'all literally just went too far with that, with that one, bro. That's not even funny, bro. Y'all just literally showed me my naked sister with nut on her back, bro. That shit is too far. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Look. I'm gonna just keep it a buck fifty with you guys, okay? Energy in, energy out. <laughs> That's all this is. Apparently, his sister has an OnlyFans, and the the audience tricked him into watching a, a picture of his sister. Absolutely freaking disgusting. But at the same time, it's Aiden Ross's fans, and Aiden Ross has been doing this kind of nasty stuff on Kick like for the past what two, three, four weeks, maybe over a month at this point. So, is anybody surprised at this behavior that his fans are basically giving him back what he's been pushing in for the past month? I, I don't think so. Would I wish it on my worst enemy? Nah. But is it karma? Yeah, definitely. This is what is Kanye West, man. 
man. Okay, what's going on, dog? Apparently, Kanye West doesn't hate Jewish people anymore, according to ROA and a lot of you guys. It says, Kanye West returns to Instagram to say that he likes Jewish people again after watching Jonah Hill and 21 Jump Street. Like... <laughs> This man cannot be a real person. 21 Jump Street, by the way, is absolutely amazing, along with 22 Jump Street, to be honest. But for him to just be like, you know what? After all of this hatred that I've had towards Jewish people, I watched this movie. I realized Jonah Hill starred on it. And you know what? I'm I'm cool with Jewish people again. This this guy is a maniac. The picture reads, watching Jonah Hill in 21 Jump Street made me like Jewish people again. No one should take anger against one or two individuals and transform that into hatred towards millions of innocent people. No Christian can be labeled anti-Semite knowing Jesus is Jew. Thank you, Jonah Hill. I love you. What? I... I... <laughs> <laughs> oh god i we live in a simulation i i truly believe looking at this thing that i we, that we are living in a current simulation speaking of simulation guys we need to talk about this cnn article that came out that <laughs> Uh, racism is back at it again, apparently. And it reads, quote, if you're white and you've posted a GIF or meme of a black person to express a strong emotion, you may be guilty of wearing digital blackface. <laughs> Writes John Blake analysis. How do these people, this has 9,000 likes, 17,000 quote retweets how do these people become writers like i i don't understand it man i understand it. i don't get when it comes to like people of power i just got finished watching the whole tiktok controversy and watching all these congressmen try to interview this guy about the tiktok stuff showing extreme xenophobia because this man from singapore but they kept you know alluding to the fact that he was from china and just not knowing what they're talking about right like all of these people who get in these positions of power and do things and they have no idea what they're doing and i'm like how? Let's go down the rabbit hole just for a quick second. Okay, it said maybe you shared that viral video of Kimberly Sweet Brown Wilkins telling reporter after narrowly escaping apartment fire. Ain't nobody got time for that. This this man really used the oldest. <laughs> that freaking ain't nobody got time with that meme was literally like 10 years ago, probably literally 10 years ago. And this man is using that as an example. Oh my God, you you know that he just did not have anything else to say. Just had nothing to talk about. Perhaps she posted the meme of supermodel Tyra Banks exploding in anger on America's Next Top Model, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe you simply, blah, blah, blah. If you're black and you shared such images online, you get a pass. But if you're white, you may have inadvertently perpetuated one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism. Br Bro, do, no, I do not want the news summarized to me each morning, okay, CNN? I'm doing that for you guys, okay? Get out my face. Anyway, you know what nobody has time for? Reading this goddamn long-ass article, because I can't believe this person spent so much time and put so much words into this absolutely ridiculous idea here. Saying, put simply, digital blackface is 21st century menstruacy? <laughs> What? Look, this is all I got to say, okay? If white people have to get canceled for digital blackface, for, for posting a gif of a black person in the internet, if they have to get canceled for it, okay? This man's right here needs to get canceled for this video, along with all of the other videos that this man has been posting. I said, I'm fed up. We got to cancel this man's immediately, okay? Expeditiously. <laughs> Start fight! Did it? No, short fight! I hate this man. I hate him. I hate this man. <laughs> if you want white people to be canceled for digital blackface, take this man, okay? And I'll trade you guys, all right? <laughs> Oh um, I will take a white person posting a gif of black people any day versus this this big old dude who makes all these videos making black people look like freaking apes, dog. It's like ridiculous. Okay. That's 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 middle social street if you want to define it as such. Just as an FYI, I don't truly hate this guy. We don't truly have to cancel him, okay? I just think that his his humor is is, is a bit like King Batch's. Like it's already King Batch has already been like canceled kind of in a bit where he's like, hey, it's not funny to, you know, make black people all love watermelon and fried chicken and this man just came back in 2023 and said yes it is and, <laughs> and just kept continuing to do so all right so ruby and a lot of you guys asked me to talk about this weird drama that's going on with creator and clash 2 that involves idubs anisa and some dude who was going to actually be boxing for the event called froggy 
Fresh. Well, apparently, according to Ruby and a lot of you guys, said I have to talk about Froggy Fresh being banned from Creator Clash. What did he do? Those of you guys who don't know, Creator Clash is a YouTuber boxing event, okay? They've already done one last year. They're doing one this year. I think it's hosted by iDubs and his girlfriend, Anissa. And uh, yeah, that's that's Creator Clash too. That's all it really is. That's what you need to know. But apparently they made this tweet that said, there has been a change in the lineup and Froggy Fresh will no longer be fighting against Chris Ray Gunn. I don't even know who those two people are, but I think apparently a lot of people are annoyed by it. We will announce his replacement in the coming days with just three weeks left. The countdown to Creator Clash 2 has begun, followed by Creator Clash's goal is to make an inclusive and fun environment for creators and fans while giving back to charity. That has always been our mission and Froggy Fresh's recent behavior does not align with that mission we look forward to sharing this positive experience on april 15th on tax day damn so again what did he do apparently this is the video that may have triggered him to being banned from the event uh let's just give it a watch there seems to be substantial evidence that chris raygon is now on adderall well young man amphetamines couldn't save hitler on april 15th if I don't hurt you beyond what anybody could have imagined, I will be so disappointed in myself that I will subscribe to Anissa's OnlyFans. That's it. <laughs> That's it. He said that if he if he if he if he loses, he's just going to subscribe to Anissa's OnlyFans. That. There's no way. There's, there's got to be something else. He had to slap I-Dubs' mom or something. I heard I-Dubs' mom got involved in this or something. Apparently, it was Anissa's mom, not I-Dubs' mom. But also, some, apparently, the other theory is that it has to do with this guy named Sam Hyde, another guy that apparently has been harassing I-Dubs and Hassan and all these people. And barely, he's been training with Sam Hyde, Froggy Fresh, which is making them upset again I, Anissa's mom is telling them to pull Froggy Fresh from the fight because he worked out with me for a week insane oh what is <laughs> this is such like a nothing burger but at the same time a lot of people are really frustrated about it Moist Critical tweeted and said I'm really disappointed by this kicking him for Twitter controversy after months of training is brutal I don't think any jokes he made were intended to be mean spirit or crap on anyone hopefully they reconsider the decision and last but not least we have a response video from Froggy Fresh that happened less than 24 hours ago uh, we'll play a few seconds of the clip here to see what he has to say about all the drama that's happening right now up my phone someone sent me a link in what came up on my iphone screens the closest thing that i ever seen i really couldn't believe it was the picture really real my knees got weak and my arms got heavy i almost puked up my meal <laughs> I showed my phone to my wife and i seen her eyes get sad and that was when I knew this whole dang thing was gonna be bad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna continue. This is this is this is this is gold. This is gold. So now I'll show you the photo I was sent. Anissa's mom is mad, so now I'm kicked off the event. <laughs> give the people their money's worth and give them what they want. Give it all to charity for all the tickets that they bought. Cause we're both trying to find a way. We're both trying to be a man. But there's plenty of people around the world. And we ain't the only fans. Oh. Dang, this is a banger actually. Okay. At first I thought this was like comedy. This is this is actually a certified banger. It's, there's four minutes of this, okay? And as much as I love to listen to his heavenly voice for the next three minutes and 30 seconds with you guys, okay, I won't. Yeah, hey guys, that's Creator Clash 2. That's Froggy Fresh being banned from the event and and and, and iDubs and Anissa being Big Baby Rage Mad. It's, everyone's kind of frustrated because literally iDubs has created this entire platform. The only reason why he's even relevant in the first place is that he would tell jokes 10 times worse than what Froggy Fresh would make in order to basically be where he is now. And now this guy, Froggy Fresh, throwing out a harmless joke and now it hurts some, somebody's mom and now that he's got to get kicked out. <laughs> it's like backwards, dog, right? Like, I get it. We don't want to tolerate hate. 
but this was like a tap on the wrist. This offended nobody. It wasn't even that harmful of a freaking joke at all, but somebody got their Jimmy Russells. The wrong person got their Jimmy's Russell. And now everyone's like, dog, stop being so soft, right? The same guy that was saying, hey, say the N word with an ER. Stop being so soft, black people. And as a black person, I'm saying, yo, I dubs, come on, bro. <laughs> Stop being solved, dog. What are you doing? So, guys, huge roller coaster for Jonathan Mayers. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the person that was just a, a lead actor in Creed. He was the bad guy. And also, he is the bad guy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, the, the quantum whatever. He's the time guy. Yeah, he's just bad dudes in all the movies, and he's an up-and-coming doing real. However, as of literally just yesterday, a lot of people said Jonathan Mayers was getting arrested for domestic abuse just as his career was taking off. Just as everybody was discovering who this dude was, Apparently, this man was about to lose it all. But you guys know how the internet goes, right? As soon as someone gets canceled on Twitter for an accusation, you trash them. This person that said if Jonathan Mayers really was an abuser this whole time, he's really sick in the head. He was just in an interview talking about masculinity and his kindness and gentleness. Men like that scare the hell out of me. Followed by, I'm not surprised about Jonathan Mayers because men being violent don't surprise me. But I truly do not expect all of this like he really had the public so fooled and played up the soft, masculine, emotional man that was on purpose. <laughs> it's crazy. They switch up on you so fast. Somebody can just literally say anything and the switch up just like that. However, there is an update. It says Mayor's lawyers confirmed that the woman in question has recanted her statement about being physically assaulted. Now, it's interesting. When you hear the word recanted, it means basically, hey, takesy backsies, never mind. I said you did it, but I'm not going to say it anymore. Why? I don't know. Number one, did she lie? Number two, was she telling the truth, but she got paid off? Number three, I don't have a number three. I just thought it made sense to put a number three, but I don't actually know the results of why she recanted her statement. But apparently there is video evidence out there that says that he did not do what she claimed. And if that's the case and that video comes out and somebody just lied on your face and said, hey, you choked me out. Now give me some Marvel money. That's just wild. Like, <laughs> God damn. Sucks because a lot of companies and businesses that was already working with Jonathan Mayers already pulled out their commercials and their business with him just from the claim itself without actually having any of the evidence or seeing how everything worked out. You've seen it time for time again where someone comes out and just lies on your face and then boom, they get canceled and then they come back out and say, hey, I didn't actually do it. And everyone's just like, oops, my bad, tee -hee. So yeah, story old as time. So guys, quick update about my boy Connor. If you guys don't know, he's been doing a cyclothon for almost 10 days and it is finally done. Fluffy Bear Sock said Connor is the GOAT. That is damn right. And here uh, Connor says, thank you guys for 550000 thousand dollars raised in this cyclothon this honestly was really physically demanding on us and pushed us to our limits but we did it and raised a shit ton of money for idf community genuinely the best community i've ever been a part of thank you so if you guys don't know connor has just been around in japan biking for the past 10 days burning apparently like five thousand to six thousand calories a day <laughs> trying to raise money uh for this charity he did it last year this is the cyclothon 2.0 and yeah it just ended and yeah again over 500k raised 499 Thank you so much for all you do. Go Connor. Love from the UK. Your streams have kept us going the last few days. Five hundred thousand! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes. That's so freaking awesome, man. This cute picture here saying congrats on finishing the cyclothon and raising so much money. You guys are incredible. Sea Dog, Abroad in Japan, uh, Premier 2, and Iron Mouse. Congratulations. This little cute graphic as well. You'll love to see it happen. That's some, some good-ass energy that we need in the world, right? I know. All right, pause. We have a weeb alert here. Okay, guys, for whatever reason this week, we got a crazy amount of anime announcements, like a whole bunch all at once. And I'm going to, was that me? Or was that you guys? That might've been me. I'm going to give you guys the entire 411 of all the announcements and about 30 seconds or less, maybe a minute or less. So here are all the anime announcements that you really need to know that are happening within the next couple of weeks or months. Blue Lock, the anime that's about football, AKA American soccer, has a season two announcement and also a movie in the works as well. Spy Family season two has been announced that's gonna be coming out in October. Plus there is a full movie that's gonna be coming out later this year in December as well. My Hero Academia season seven, apparently season six was absolutely crazy. Season seven has just been announced 
out, so everyone's hyped for that. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 trailer also got announced as well. Everyone's very excited for JJK. Ushoko Tensei Season 2 got a trailer announcement. Devil is a part-timer. Season 3 got an announcement. RE0 Season 3 got an announcement. Like, what in the damn world? And Trigun Stampede also got the final season announcement. If you guys don't know, 2023 is going to be absolutely ridiculous for anime. It was already ridiculous like last year for all of the animes that came out. This year is just, it's it's going to blow everything out the water. I don't know how we're going to be able to rank all of these great animes coming out all at one time. We got Attack on Titan. We have to compete with Mob Psycho. Is that me again? God dang. We got to compete with Mob Psycho Season 3, Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man. There's there's going to be so freaking much anime, guys. Again, if you are not on the weeb head train, this is the best time to be, and I highly recommend you jump on it. But all right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you made it to the end, do me a favor, drop a like. Okay, just let me know you made it to the end of the video, and I did a, a decent job of keeping your attention. Uh, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm trying to, you know, grow as a channel. So again, if you have not done it, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm heading out. I'm gonna be on vacation. I'm heading out to Cancun uh, for this week. So I'm gonna miss the, miss the Splatfest. If you guys don't know, <laughs> I chose a team for the Splatfest. It's gonna be happening while I'm gone. I'm Team Aliens. So I need you guys to be out there playing the game, repping Team Aliens, and making sure that Team Bigfoot and Team Nessie don't win. Okay? Because if we lose then I have to delete the channel, okay? That was the deal. If you missed that video, well, now you know. So, I, I, unfortunately, I can't compete in it, so we shall see. I'm praying that, um, <laughs> I hope we win, fellas. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. I might make a video tomorrow before I leave, but if not, well, yeah, I'll probably see you sometime next week, okay? All right, take it easy. Thanks for watching, and peace.